Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video and happy scrapbooking day! Today I'm working with two photos from this outing that we did uh, by the coast and uh, I will have this uh, wood grain um, piece as my background. It's a paper from the paper uh, brand called Bella and uh, the back side it was really uh, hard to give up it was a uh, uh, white and blue uh, striped paper that I think I could have done wonders with <laughs> but <laughs> this time it had to uh, it had to go uh, uh, because I wanted to use this wood grain uh, the two photos are of the kids climbing this uh, dead old tree and then there you can see uh, mother and uh, hubby uh, watching them and uh, this is just one of those fun photos from, from this outing and uh, I have die cut uh, a globe and the coordinates for this uh, location and uh, I have never uh, done that before and I'm really surprised because I love the look and I every every time when I see coordinates like this I, I get this uh, kind of uh, nautical feeling <laughs> so so I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that I've never used it in my scrapbooking before but I it will not be the last time I used a website uh, for uh, uh, determining this uh, cord these uh, coordinates and it's called world coordinate converter and I'll give you the link here uh, that's the abbreviation it, and I think it's originally in French so you need the, the slash en uh, to get the, the English version but it, it, you, it's just a map and you uh, zoom in to the location where you need the coordinates for uh, that you need the coordinates for and then you just press the action the as precise location and then you give uh, you're given the coordinates in a little box uh, by the cursor so it's very very simple so if you just know where you've been that's just a very easy uh, tool to give you the coordinates I had this lovely red uh, paper in my uh, stash with the coordinates for some location and I thought that would be uh, stupid not to use it so that will be the mat for my uh, photo block. I'm just trimming off a piece so that it goes uh, just on both sides of the photo. And now you'll see the work of frugal Osa, <laughs> just to save paper. Because these papers are so dear to me and I love them and I want to use them over and over again. So I just cut off the strips that I need and I tape them on the back side of the, uh, the photo block so that I can use the actually the larger part of the paper uh, another time so nothing will be lost and I'm doing the same thing with that wood grain paper I'm cutting off uh, strips so that I get the top and bottom and then I save a large piece for another day so in that way I can use the back side or the B side of this lovely, lovely paper as well. I'm feeling very, very uh, clever when I do these things because I, I want to get as much as possible out of my supplies. If this had been, say, four years ago, I would have considered this being a complete page. But uh, the last couple of years I have been trying really hard to to make more of my scrapbooking and uh, make it more finished and uh, this was one of those times when i really had to force myself to continue working on the project uh, instead of just calling it the, a day <laughs> i had some um, <laughs> it, it, it was really hard for me to cut into that strip of uh, project life like cards but uh, i thought that I wouldn't be able to use them all so I used the backside and cut off a row of these lovely dots to frame my photo block and I'm also cutting off a small strip of the same paper to make a similar similar border and on the lower part of the page and 
kind of bring in the same pattern at uh, several places on the layout and that's one of those really nice tricks that you can use uh, if you want to con make the the page more more contained more brought together more um, like a, a unity and now it's time for some die cuts die cuts are really good to to give the little extra the extra detail and the extra like pizzazz to to a page and uh, i'm using the uh, sail away collection from uh, kaisercraft and i'm concentrating on the red uh, die cuts this time and uh, my daughter here is helping me to to choose the ones that fit best they are really nice ones and uh, they are all in a marine kind of uh, nautical coastal theme so they fit this uh, scene perfectly uh, if you just look at these photos there's nothing really coastal going on about them but uh, uh, when they go in the album together with uh, the rest of the photos from this outing it will be obvious that these are taken at the coast so I'm just trying a couple of different uh, die cuts to see which fit the best when I had gotten this far in this project with the Flotwarp photos I had a couple of really good shots left and I, I was reluctant to make more pages there was a couple of them that I really, really loved, but at the same time, ah, it would but just be another, <laughs> another brick in the wall. Now uh, another, like, more of the same. So I gathered up all my leftover photos, and I'm going to make a pocketed uh, six by twelve page to put in between these uh, photos in my album. Before that, I'm just tying a couple of bows of this uh, nature and gold kind of uh, uh, thread and placing them together with the die cuts that I chose. When I first started make, uh, making these pocketed inserts between layouts, I was a bit annoyed by the fact that my photos weren't the size of the pockets. I always got a two centimeter or one and a half centimeter gap uh, where I needed to add something but now when I've made a couple of these I'm really happy about that gap because it's it allows me to embellish the small pages without actually uh, without covering up that much of the photo so now I'm, now I'm going to use that lovely striped paper from the Bella paper that I had as a background for my uh, red layout and I'm going to place those strips beside the photos that I've chosen and that will make this into six lovely uh, uh, coastal uh, marine themed uh, mini layouts that will go very well with the rest of the layouts that I made. This photo of uh, hubby and me and our daughter uh, it, it, that was actually the photo that I wanted to make into a full page layout but at the same time I <laughs> it, it, it makes a perfect uh, mini page in this photo pocket so, so yes I, I don't think that I will regret using it in this way that was taken with the uh, backside uh, or the front no the backside camera on my telephone so it has another pro kind of set of proportions and uh, I will need to remember to to have that change because it's really annoying that the photos aren't the same proportions uh, when I uh, get them printed so this is the finished 6 by 12 inlay and here's the page that I made first I've also added a couple of wood veneer hat, um, uh, geotags uh, to three different locations on the page and I think I colored them with a brown pen just to make them a bit darker. I hope that you have enjoyed this series with photos from Flotwarp and uh, after this one I'm moving on to some just random uh, pages for a while before I jump on to the next uh, larger project. I hope that you'll have a really nice scrapbooking weekend and a lovely national scrapbooking day. Take care, this is Osa. Bye!